friends, this is Miss Eliza, and I wanted to talk to you about a special day we have coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow is Earth Day. Earth is the planet where we live, so Earth is what's all around us, and it's where we get nature. That's all part of the Earth. So things we could do for Earth Day are we can appreciate Earth and appreciate nature. That means kind of think about how nice it is that it's there for us. And then we can also think about how to take care of the earth. So when we take care of the earth, what are some of the things we can do? Hmm. What should you do if you have some trash? Should you just throw it outside somewhere? No, that's not taking care of the earth. We need to make sure trash gets in the right place. So trash goes in a trash can. And if you have anything you can recycle, like if you have a plastic bottle or a can, you can recycle it so that way we can reuse the materials so that's even nicer for the earth than the trash so that's something we can do to be nice to the earth and take care of it to appreciate the earth you can go on a nature walk with your family on a nature walk you can use your senses so you can look at the nature look at the plants and animals you see along the way you can feel you can feel the sunlight or the rain or the wind if there's different weather going on. You can smell. Sometimes you can smell flowers or grass. Those things smell nice. And you can listen. You can listen. Sometimes there's birds or I can hear wind right now too. So you can use all your different senses to experience nature. And I also have a fun project you can do on your walk. And it's really easy. All you need is a roll of duct tape. So for this, you're just going to take some duct tape, make it into a circle, and then you can make a nature bracelet out of it. So basically for a nature bracelet, as you're going on your nature walk, you just look and if you see something cool on the ground that you like how it looks, you pick it up and you can stick it to your nature bracelet. So I like the way this leaf was shaped, so I put it on my nature bracelet. And you can look around. A good place is to look by trees. They drop a lot of really cool stuff. So this is a little bud off a tree. I can put that on my nature bracelet. Then I can start to decorate it with different things that I find on my nature walk. I went out on a nature walk earlier and I found all sorts of different things. So these were some flowers that fell off of a bush. These are some pine branches that fell off of a tree. Um, some of the older pine needles are orange and I thought that was really cool. So those are some different things I found on my nature walk. And I like to look for things that are already on the ground. That means that the plants aren't using them anymore. If you take if you take things off of plants, they're still using them and they don't like that. So try to find things that are already on the ground for your nature bracelet. And if you find things that are maybe really big or still growing or alive, those are things you don't want to put on your nature bracelet, but you can still take a picture of them if you want to remember them. So yesterday I was out on a walk and I actually saw a snake on the ground. So I'm not gonna put the snake on my nature bracelet, am I? No, that's that would be crazy. But I took a picture of the snake because I thought it was cool and then I could show you guys. So here's the picture of my snake that I saw on my nature walk yesterday. All right. So remember, tomorrow is Earth Day, so we need to appreciate our Earth and take care of it. So I hope you can get out and have a nice walk in nature around your neighborhood and enjoy what you find. Thanks and happy Earth Day.